talked about sealing uh, facilities, and we've been through several different tapes. This tape, I think, is running now about six dollars a roll, um, and that's that's our cost on the stuff. So, but we found that it works really well. And, and seals down really well. It's uh, kind of a pressure sensitive tape. Works well when it's warm and 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 comes off really nice. It does, doesn't leave a residue. Duct tape, which is a fiber reinforced tape, that stuff will will leave the strings and, and just really look look uh, look bad on a customer's facility. So even when this stuff gets wet, a lot of tapes will will delaminate and the paper will actually come off and be left on the building and we'll have to go back and scrape it and clean it. Um, but this stuff kind of has a waxy, a waxy feel to it. So it, um, it stays together nice even if it gets wet. It does occasionally rain on a fumigation. Um, anyway, those are some of the tapes we like. Three inch is pretty handy to use. We also have some six inch tape. I don't know if we have any of that out here. Um, we'll use for specialty stuff, larger um, um, applications. We use a, a six inch wide tape. Um, this is a, a PVC tape, which you'll see most of the time in uh, electrical connections. You'll see an electrician will always have a spool of this on their tool belt. This is a two inch wide version of the same thing. And this is what we use on our recirculation systems. We had uh, a question about J system and recirculation. So we're usually, um, we're, we're putting together a four inch drainage tile, which is a black corrugated PVC tile and um, we're putting this, the unions together and sealing with this tape. As you can see, if you pull it, it stretches a little bit. It'll stretch, and even if the tubing gets wet, it, it still will stick to itself and still hold and, and remain gas tight. Because you're blowing that gas from the grain bin around, usually out of the top and back into the bottom on the aeration side. So you're pulling high gas concentrations through that tubing and you've got to make sure that your connections all stay tight. And we'll say when it gets hot, you have to watch on those, um, on, on using that tape, because that tape, get the adhesive on it gets real pliable and it will kind of pull apart. This is a, uh, a strapping tape. It's a fiber reinforced tape. So um, when we're doing large vents that we have maybe have inclement weather, we always seal knowing that we have to hold that seal for sometimes 48 to 72 hours. I know we're doing a 24 hour exposure, um, but w within that time frame, we have to prep a facility before they shut down and entirely out before we release the gas. So we're preparing that facility to set for maybe 72 hours. So we'll use that fiber reinforced tape to go around the bottom to help hold that on, on vents. And we also use it in other installations to when we want to secure a riser on a um, recirculation fumigation that may go up 125, 130 feet, and we need to help support the weight of that so it doesn't pull apart if it's cold or um, whatever. So that tape comes in very handy when we're trying to um, trying to secure things and make sure things are the plastic's not flapping in the wind and, and it's going to tear itself up uh, within that time frame. We also have a reinforced uh, four mil poly that has some of that same fiberglass reinforcement in it. Um, it's just kind of a web pattern. So we use that on large areas or, or maybe on sharp objects to where if the wind hits it a lot, the, the tear or the rip will be at least be controlled by the size of the web pattern in that. So we're not allowing a, a large gap or large area um, to be created by, um, by damage to our tarps. 